Hueso, hueso, she ready. Uh. Okay, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chantel, back with a new video. So, today's video is well requested. It is things that college students can get for free or at a discounted price. So, without further ado, we're gonna get right into this video. Now, um, during this video, I have my notes written down, so if you see me looking down, that's why. All right, so the first thing that students can get for free or at a discounted price is Amazon Prime. So college students can sign up for a free six month trial of Amazon Student um, that comes with free two day shipping, which is good for renting or buying books because you can get it in two days um, because some classes, they're gonna ask you to get books very fast. Um, and some people like to rent or buy books because it's a lot cheaper that way. Um, and this way it makes it a lot easier with the free two-day shipping. Um, it also has access to Prime Instant Video. Um, but after your trial ends, you can upgrade it um, for a membership fee of, I think it's around 40 or $50 a year. Um, so yeah, but I always just cancel the subscription before it um, ends and charges you. And then if I want to do it again, I just wait a few months and then do it again. See what I did there? Um, the next thing, number two, is um, you can get food at a discounted price. So what I would do is like, like check the restaurants and fast food places that are around your school and see if they have discounted prices because a lot of restaurants do support the universities and colleges in the area and they will give you a discounted price on foods and stuff like that. Three, I know our school, when well, my alma mater, they gave us Microsoft Office for free. Like we had the whole Microsoft Office thing, you know, with Word and um, PowerPoint, Excel, all that. We got all of that for free in our email. Um, I don't know how it is at other schools, but I'm pretty sure they do the same thing as well. Another thing you guys get is free gym memberships on campus. Um, so I know for my school, we were able to go to the gym for free because all of that is covered in our tuition. And I feel like it's pretty much the same at almost every college or university. You get to go to their uh, campus gym for free. They may not have all the things you need, but it's a free gym membership. And memberships aren't free. Like Planet Fitness and all of that, those things are not cheap. Those memberships are not cheap. So I would take advantage while you can. Go ahead and go ahead and get in the gym and get that work in. Do not wait until New Year's. Go ahead and do it when you get on campus, okay? Uh, another thing, you can get discounted tickets for certain things. So like if you wanted to go see like a play or something that was in the area, they give like discounts for people that go to like the university that's close by or something like that. Um, I think you get free membership into like museums and stuff. Um, you get like this kind of prices on like games, like maybe like football games or basketball games and stuff like that. Um, I know mostly at your, like at every school you go to, you can get free access into like the basketball game or the football game. If you have like your student ID card with you, you just swipe and get in for free. Um, so these are like good ideas if you wanna do like some cool date night ideas. Um, just Google like things in the area and see if they are like, if prices are discounted if you go to like that college and stuff. You just make sure you have your student ID on you. Because honestly, if you have your student ID, you can get discounts at so many different places. Like honestly, so many different places around the area that your campus is in. As long as you got your student ID, you can get in anywhere and like they can't like swipe it and check to make sure that you're still a student. So you could have been graduated four years ago um, and still be able to get discounts, okay? I'm keeping my student ID. My RAM card, baby, I am keeping that because you never know what discounts you will get, okay? Oh yeah, at the movies. They have discounted prices at the movies. I know um, there's like a movie theater that was like 20 minutes away from the school and um, 
they gave like student discounts i forgot how much they took off but they give you they do give you student discounts like i said all you gotta do show them your student id and they give you a discount off movie tickets because movie tickets are not cheap for one and then two you gotta pay for popcorn drinks all of that so like yeah these discounts really come in handy y'all clothing so i have a list of like clothing stores and i don't know if this is just like online or in store i feel like a lot of them are in store um you just have to ask them like you just have to go in different places different restaurants and different stores be like hey do you offer um a student discount but it has to be in the um same area as your school um so like um banana republic american apparel they give like a 15 percent in-store only coupons boohoo is up to like 50 percent off um um levi they give like up to 40 percent off and then 15 percent off full price items top shop and all this good stuff um so yeah, you could really get uh, discounts. Oh yeah, Apple Music. Apple Music, they give you, um, I know the regular price you're supposed to pay every month, I believe is like $10, but for students, you only have to pay $5 a month to get Apple Music. So yeah, I'm still currently on that right now. Like when I graduate from grad school and it goes to 10, your girl might not be listening to no music on her phone anymore because what? Another new thing that I just learned about was this thing called Pocket Points app. So the thing that you do is um, like it earns you a variety of like freebies for like staying off your phone while you're in class. Um, and so it says for every minute you're not using your phone, the app will reward you with points in which you can cash out for a variety of freebies from local merchants um so yeah it's worth a shot um download the pockets points app i might actually do that when i get to uh, my grad school i might actually do that just to see because that'll be really really cool as well um also another thing is student checking accounts so um, most checking accounts have like a maintenance fee um unless you meet like the minimum requirements and um so some of the banks that you can consider checking out while in college would be um alley i think that's how you pronounce it bank of america chase regions bank td student checking and u.s bank um yeah so talk with your bank to see if there's like a student checking account option so yeah that's one thing to note um another thing you can get that i mentioned in one of my old videos that I just posted was condoms. You can get free condoms at the health center. Just go to the health center and say, oh, can I get some condoms? Da, da, da. They'll give you some condoms. They'll give you hand sanitizer. Um, yeah, they'll give you all of that good stuff. So you don't even have to go down the street and buy condoms because condoms aren't the cheapest thing in the world either. And neither is plan B, boo. <laughs> or birth control. So go ahead and get you some free condoms at your health center um be looking like on social media and stuff like that for events on campus like free events on campus because some events they might give you they might give out like free shirts free cups that have like the university's logo on it and like some may even offer like free food free hair products if you come around a certain time you want some games and different stuff like that so um make sure that you are looking out for these things and these opportunities because look you can never get enough free shirts you can never get enough free food like look out for these events to say free food free shirts free anything honestly hearing the word free is like a dream to every college student literally another thing that you can get for free is like um public transit so like some cities offer like students a free ride like on buses and certain things like that but you should want to like check it out first before you just try to get up there and think that it's free um but something some places do offer that and i know some schools they offer shuttles to certain places so on our campus we had a shuttle um that would take you like to the bus station or it'll take you to um walmart or like something something like that that everybody probably needs to go to um so yeah you get public transit to different places and stuff like that 
Uh, you get public transit to like certain events and stuff um, that are not on campus, but it's sponsored or hosted by the school. They might give you free public transit for that as well. So yeah, these are all the things that you guys can get for free. There are probably some other things that you can probably get for free as well. Um, if you're a college student and you're watching this and you know some other things you can get for free, um, don't be afraid to post it in the comments below because I don't know everything. Um, so um, yeah, but this is also my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye!